I think the main motivation is uh, based on my upbringing, uh, southern part of India where I grew up. It used to be a free water, right, from nature and pure, clean, but not anymore. The village now relying on water from municipality. So when I see this, I think a couple of years ago, uh, I, being a material scientist, I asked myself, can I do something for this? My name is Dr. Dinesh Shetty. Currently, I'm working at Khalifa University, Abu Dhabi. Uh, we are mainly focusing on water-related research. Emerging pollutants. Emerging pollutant means uh, because of our modern lifestyle, right? They are in very low concentration. The plastic ingredients, right? Uh, the pesticides, where it will go? It end up going to the soil, soil to water source. Their concentration is microgram to nanogram per liter. So which means it's more challenging, if you think about the chemistry, to remove them. A lot of water is getting wasted. Once it's polluted, then we are just discarding it, right? If you think about developing a material which can remove the pollutant or toxin from this water, and then we can reuse, if not for drinking, at least you can use it for agriculture or day-to-day -day use, then we are saving a lot of water. The intention of using some chemicals, good, but it end up going to the water sources. That's why we need uh, a special materials to remove them. And that's where people like us, like material scientists, coming into play. The material we developed is a porous in nature, totally organic. What it can do, if you put this porous polymeric material into the polluted water, they can selectively absorb only these pollutants. Because if you think about one gram of material, we call it as a surface area. The area where this molecule can go and sit is huge. If you say one gram means I'm talking about maybe a two, three soccer field area. Most important thing here is our material can be easily regenerated. Even in lowest concentration, these pollutants can be removed within a few seconds. Any knowledge, be it scientific or any sort of the knowledge, without social causes, nothing to me. I truly think that the best, best gift you can give to your next generation will be pure air and pure water.